13.71. List the following aqueous solutions in order of increasing boiling point. The first question that comes to mind is, what does actually affect the boiling point? This can be explained with the principle of colligative properties. And this principle simply states that only the amount of molecules that are put in water, for example, have an impact on the boiling point elevation. So knowing this, we have a look at those two vessels here. The first one is containing pure water and the second one is containing water in salt. The uh, colligative properties effect of the natrium chloride molecules will decrease the vapor pressure and therefore the evaporation of the second vessel, or the solution in the second vessel, slows down. So this proposes a fundamental question to our task. When does a substance boil? So a substance will boil when the vapor pressure of it equals the outer pressure. So by putting in more particles, we lower the vapor pressure of it and therefore we increase the boiling point. So our task now to solve this question is which substance has the highest amount of particles. So we need to look at potassium bromide first of all. What happens when we put potassium bromide into water? It will split up into potassium, potassium ions, and bromide ions. What happens to urea, which is uh, CO, by the way, um, I already wrote it down, nothing will happen to urea, as urea is a very weak base, and yeah, that won't really happen much. Let's have a look at magnesium nitrate. Magnesium nitrate will actually dissociate into three moles, into magnesium, Ions and two, uh, uh, two nitrate ions. So we have one, two, right? And if we have a look at this, out of one mole potassium bromide over here, we get two moles of substance. So twice the amount uh, of the particles. Out of one mole of urea, we will get one mole of urea. And out of one mole of magnesium nitrate, we will get three moles. So the last thing to solve this question um, is we have to uh, multiply the amount of particles in moles times the concentration we have left over here. So it's simply 2 times 0 0.08 equals... 0.166 moles, okay? And over here we have to multiply 1 times 0 0.13 and this equals, who would have guessed, 0. Point, point, sorry, 0.13. Okay, and Last but not least, um, magnesium nitrate. We have to multiply three times 0 0.008, uh, right? And this will leave us with uh, 0 0.24 moles. Okay, now we just have to compare those. And as we can clearly see, we have the highest amount of particles if we put um, magnesium nitrate into water. So this is our uh, first place. Our second place is potassium bromide with 0 0.16 moles. And our third place is urea with 0 0.13 moles. Okay. These are our results. Thanks for watching.